Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Kamran and this channel is all about to show you how to become an IT pro really really fast. In this video, we will see how to create a macOS Big Sur lookalike with Genome Desktop. Customization is one of the primary reasons that most of the people use Linux. You can do any type of customization to your Linux desktop. You can change the icons, themes, fonts, terminal style and wallpapers. Many people use macOS because of its simple and elegant look. However, we can create macOS look in our Linux desktop as well. I am using the Ubuntu 20.04 for the demonstration of this video. Ubuntu 20.04 has the Genome desktop environment. So without any further ado, let's get started and let's see how to create a macOS Big Sword look alike with the Genome desktop. To create a macOS Big Sur look with Genome Desktop, we will download and install the White Sur GTK theme and the Big Sur icon theme on Ubuntu and we will perform the multiple series of steps. So the step number one is to install the dependencies of the White Sur GTK theme. The White Sur GTK theme is dependent on some external packages that we need to install before installing the White Sur GTK theme. So open up your terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T and I have listed down all the commands that I will use in this video. I will put all these commands in the description of this video and you can use these commands while creating the macOS Big Sur look with Genome Desktop. So in order to install the dependencies, we have to execute these commands. So first of all, I'm gonna copy this first command and let's execute it. This command will install the GTK2 engines Marine and the GTK2 engines PixBuff external packages. So now, when you have written this command, hit enter. The system is prompting for the sudo password. Enter your sudo password here. And the next step is to install the other dependencies. So let's run this command on the terminal. Hit enter. Press Y here to continue installing these packages and hit enter. Alright, the required dependencies are successfully installed and now the next step is to install the Genome Tweak tool. The Genome Tweak tool is a handy piece of software. It helps us to apply and update the themes, icon themes, cursor themes on Ubuntu. In order to create macOS Big Sur look with Genome Desktop, the Genome Tweak tool is a must-have tool. Therefore, we need to install the Genome Tweak tool. So, in order to install the Genome Tweak tool, we will use this command sudo apt install genome-tweak-tool. So, let's go back to our terminal and let's write here sudo apt install genome-tweak-tool and hit enter. It is already installed on my Ubuntu system but if you are installing it for the first time then it will take couple of minutes. So during the installation you will see a prompt on the terminal. It will ask you if you want to continue the installation of Genome Tweak tool then you have to press Y on the terminal and hit enter. Alright so the Genome Tweak tool will be installed successfully. Now the next step is to download and install the White Sur GTK theme on Ubuntu. The White Sur GTK theme is available available on github so you can visit this link and uh, you will see all the details of the white sword gtk theme you can download the white sword gtk theme here so for this you have to click on code then you have to click on download zip and we can also download the white sword gtk theme from the terminal so when we will be downloading the white sword theme from the terminal we will basically make the clone of this git repository in order to make the clone we need to have the git command installed on our ubuntu to system. In order to install the git command, write on your terminal sudo apt install git and hit enter. Press y here to continue the installation and hit enter. The git command is successfully installed. Now in order to clone the white sword gtk theme, we need to execute this command on the terminal. So let me just paste this command here and the command is git clone and after that we have the link of the white sword gtk theme. 
which is available on github so when you will hit enter it will make a clone of this theme and it will create a new directory of white store gtk theme on your system so hit enter so the idea is that it has created a new directory white store gtk theme and it is cloning this theme into that directory all right the white sword gtk theme is successfully downloaded now we are ready to install it so navigate to the white sword directory by using the command cd white sword hyphen gtk hyphen theme and hit enter inside this directory we have the install dot sh script so let's execute it and it will install the white sword gtk theme hit enter all right, the white sword GTK theme is successfully installed. And now the next step is to install the Mac OS big sword icon theme on Ubuntu. So let me just open my TXT file and show you the command. In order to download the big sword icon theme, we have to execute this command on the terminal. Let's go back to our home directory and let me just paste this command here the big sore icon theme is also available from the github so we will clone the big sore icon theme directory on our ubuntu system and then we will install it after writing this command hit enter it is cloning the big sore icon theme into the directory that is big sore icon theme all right the big sore icon theme is successfully downloaded now let's navigate to the big sore icon theme directory and run the install.ash file the big sore icon theme is successfully installed now let's move on to our next step that is to install the dash to dock extension once we are done with all the steps then i will open the genome tweak tool and i will apply the theme and the extension on my ubuntu system so this is the last step to do on ubuntu the dock is located at the left edge of the screen as you can see that but mac os has its dock at the bottom dash to dock is a useful extension that gives you more control over the appearance and placement of the dock obviously if we want to create the mac os look then we need to place this dock in the bottom so the dash to dock extension will help us to do so so open up your browser and in order to install the dash to dock extension you have to visit this link https double slash extensions dot genome dot org and now you have to click here to install the browser extension click on continue to installation and now you have to click on add the genome shell extension is added to the browser and now you have to search for dash to doc all right so this is the dash to doc extension click on it this extension is off by default so in order to include this extension into your ubuntu system you have to click on this button and now this extension is on it says that download and install the dash to doc from extensions.genome.org so you have to click on the install button and now let's minimize our browser and to go back to the application menu and now we are ready to apply the theme and dash to dock extension on our ubuntu genome desktop environment so here in the search bar write tweaks this is the genome tweaks tool click on it go to the extensions tab and you can see that the dash to dock is uh, enabled on my ubuntu system click on this gear icon and now you have to select the monitor so we have to show the dock on our primary monitor and the position on the screen is bottom so let's click here and select the bottom and you have multiple options here for example you can see that we have the intelligent auto hide dock it will hide the dock when it comes between in a window of the current application so if you want to disable it you can click here we have the launchers tab here it show open window previews and we have the behavior tab use keyboard shortcut to activate apps when the dash to dock extension is enabled we can choose the keyboard shortcut to activate the apps and this is the click action when you will click on particular application it will make cycle through windows but you can change it according to your own preference and scroll action when you are scrolling so nothing will happen but you can make cycle through windows and switch the workspace so i'm going to select here do nothing and similarly we have the appearance tab use built-in theme no shrink the dash 
It will save the space by reducing the padding and the border radius. It is disabled by default and it is the about tab. It shows the version of the dash to dock extension which is 69. So let's close this and now let's go to the appearance tab. Now we have to change the themes. So in order to apply the themes on application, you have to click here and you can see that you have the multiple themes of white sword. So we have for example the white sword dark theme, we have white sword dark solid, we have white sword light solid theme. So I'm going to select here white sword light theme and you can see that the cursor theme is changed to white glass and now we have to select the icons theme. For the icons theme you can see that we have the big sword, big sword dark. So I'm gonna select here big sword and you can see that the appearance and the themes is now successfully applied and the look and feel of the window is changed. Now let's close the genome tweak tool but the dock is still on the left side. The changes are not applied and the dock is not appeared at the bottom. For this we need to reboot our system. So right on your terminal, reboot and hit enter. Alright so the system is rebooted successfully and now you can see that the dock appears at the bottom. The icons of my Ubuntu system has changed and the folder color is also changed. The cursor is successfully changed. If I open my home directory so now you can see that this window exactly looks like the Mac OS window and now the folder color is pretty good and it is eye catching. Now let's download the Mac OS wallpaper and apply it on the Ubuntu Genome desktop. Open your Mozilla Firefox web browser or any web browser. I am using the oswallpapers.com website for downloading the Mac OS wallpaper so you have to visit this link otherwise you can also choose any other website to do so. so here here, if I scroll down a little bit and you can see that we have got multiple Mac OS wallpapers. So simply click on any of them and uh, let me just download this. So right click here and you have to save this image. The image will be saved in the downloads directory. Click on save. Let's close the browser and now you have to open the settings application. So click on activities and search here for settings. This is the settings application, click on it. Inside the settings application, we have got multiple options on the left side. So you simply have to click on background and now you have to click here add picture. Now go to the downloads directory and select this picture and click on open. Now you have to click on it and the background image is applied. Alright, so it is really amazing to see that we have got the Mac OS Big Sore look with the GDOM desktop. It is really amazing, really elegant and eye-catching. I personally like it and let me know if you like it or not in the comment section. So that's it for this video. If I conclude this video, then in this video we have seen how to create a Mac OS Big Sore lookalike with the Genome desktop and we have performed multiple steps to do so. That's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed this video and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to our channel, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our upcoming video. See you in the next video. Thank you.